The, the Breakfast Club, bitch. <laughs> Who's Donkey of the Day today? Well, Ed Sharon, Donkey of the Day for Wednesday, June 2nd goes to all you youngins who are out there participating in this new TikTok challenge called Dry Scooping. Now, as your old Uncle Charlotte laid on this fad, uh, has this been going on via uh, Tic Tac for a while and I'm just realizing it doesn't matter? A message is a message, okay? Let's TikTok, discuss. by the way. TikTok. Shut up. Shut up. Now, what is dry scooping? Uh, dry scooping is when people consume a spoonful of workout powder with no water. Can you imagine? Uh, some people are comparing this to another challenge that I never heard of, and that is the cinnamon challenge. Has it, have any of y'all ever heard of the cinnamon challenge? No. Okay, look, I can't keep up either, okay? I am 42 years old participating in the just trying to stay mentally healthy as a black man in America challenge, okay? Sidebar, life is really good when you, ha when you have to make up challenges. You know how good your life has to be in order for you to make up challenges? Trust me, I get challenged every day. I don't need to be on tox tick to be challenged, okay? Now, Bri uh, Briatney Portillo is 20 years old. She's an OnlyFans model, and she was at her script tease job. I don't even know what that is. Does that mean she's a scripper? Uh, she was at her script tease job, and she did the dry scoop challenge, where she swallowed a spoonful of dry workout powder, and then she started sweating uncontrollably. Uh, Bri Brittany told BuzzFeed that she started to feel tingly and itchy all over her body. She did her Googles, and Google told her it was a normal side effect, and then she began to do a workout. She started feeling a heaviness in her chest, a slight pain. She thought she was having an anxiety attack, so she ignored it, and she pushed through her workout. She went on about her day, and later that day, you know what? Never mind. Listen to Brittany explain it herself. I had a heart attack, as most of you guys know, <gasps> from taking this Redcon 1 Total War, and I dry scooped it. But I think even if I put it in water, I would have been asked out anyways. Um, my symptoms were heavy chest and chest pains, but I ignored it, and I continued doing my workout because I'm not a beta. And then I had nausea and fatigue, and then I went home and I took a shower. And then when I went to work, I was in the locker room because y'all know I'm a, I'm a stripper hoe. And I got chest pains again and I went to my back and then my left side started hurting and my left side went limp. And that's when I knew it was a heart attack and not anxiety. A whole heart attack because you want to talk on ticks? Let me tell you kids something, man. Poor little Tick Tick ain't dying for you. Okay, neither is the gram, neither is YouTube. Every day y'all take penitentiary chances, you risk your life trying to go viral. Okay, if this young woman would have died, she would have been a, a, a blog, maybe, and we would be moving on to the NBA playoffs or whatever the next challenge is today. Okay, I don't know anything about dry scooping. I come from the era of dry humping. That's what the challenge was for us when we were young. Dry humping with clothes on, okay? Dry scooping for what? What is that? That's what I always ask myself before I do something. For what? Why am I doing this? What's the reason? I can't think of any valid reason to swallow a spoonful of workout powder with no water. Why? Why? To go viral? <laughs> I need to see what the afterlife looks like because I have a feeling that a lot of these folks who died trying to go viral end up in limbo because God simply doesn't know what to do with them and Satan not sure if he wants them either. Okay, God, like, well, I mean, they haven't really done anything to get past these pearly gates. And Satan, like, well, it's not like they committed a sin. So now you're just in the afterlife out here. Okay, participating in the find somewhere to spend eternity challenge. All because you want to play with ticks. All right. Do you think the younger generation really understands what death is? Or do you think they dread being old so much that they don't care because they want to die young anyway? Let me tell you something. Dying young ain't it. No, sir. Trust me. Life has done nothing but get better as I've gotten older. In the words of Pastor Young, Jeezy that is, minus the BS, life is great. How about you kids focus on the get old challenge? Okay? Do things that will help you stay alive as long as possible. Focus on your overall health, physically, mentally, spiritually, emotionally. Cut out the carbs and social media challenges, especially challenges that can lead to health issues, some fatal. Okay? Let's leave the tox and ticks for music. I thought kids went on tock tock and danced and sang along the songs. But they over there ingesting powder and it's not even cocaine, it's workout powder. I don't care if it's a tick tock, a brown dog tick, a deer tick, a lone star tick, an American dog tick, the tick tick your fake Rolex does, none of it is worth dying over. Please give all those kids participating in the dry scoop challenge the sweet sounds of the Hamiltons. You are the donkey. Of the day, you are the donkey of the day. And remember, ticks are for kids. Mm. Is that it?
Donkey of the Day is brought to you by the law office of Michael S. Lamisoff. Don't be a donkey. Dial pound 250 on your cell and say the bull if you've been hurt in a construction accident. That's pound 250 from your cell and say the bull. 